Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. This article comes to you guys from The Marketing Brew. I'll leave a link to it in the description so you guys may check it out. So Verizon CMO Leslie Berland talks rebrand and career. I I read through the Q&A, um, and I'll leave this article in the description so you guys can, uh, can check out the, the Q&A as well. But I just wanted to talk about a few things from the Q&A and uh, voice my opinion, right? So I think now that all the carriers have gotten their Q2 earnings out, T-Mobile was the last one to go yesterday, I feel Verizon has to simply just get more aggressive. Now, you might say, if you're an analyst, investor, watching the videos, if you're, if you're, just, in, if you're just a consumer, but you're also investing, you might say, at what cost, right? And I completely completely agree. Verizon is giving a lot away today already before we even get into the fourth quarter. They're doing the, the, the NFL Sunday ticket again. They're doing Verizon access. They're, they're giving away a lot. And they want to create brand loyalty. And of course, with that brand loyalty, they're also looking to lower their churn as much as possible. But... They have that price lever always in their hands, ready to pull it. That's the problem. So at first, Verizon was calling it a churn bubble. Now Verizon is calling it pricing churn. And so far, every time they've gotten that pricing churn somewhat under control, they pull that lever again, raise price, and then the, the churn spikes again. So I think that's, that's a problem today. They need to figure that out. So they're not really striking a balance, right? All of their revenues and, and, and financials that they've been increasing, they have been increasing that using the pricing lever. They're not organically growing to the extent where it's affecting their finances. And again, I will point it out in this video, that's how Verizon reports their numbers. They're not growing on the consumer side. They're losing there. They lost 158,000 consumers in the first quarter. They lost 8,000 in the second quarter. Yes, that's less, right? That's less of a loss. Maybe there is a turnaround. We'll, we will see when they report third quarter numbers. But for now, the consumer segment, they, they are simply not growing. That's what I want to focus on. When I look at their quarterly numbers, I look at the consumer's and I'm like, okay, they're still not growing. So everything that they've done, right, all the changes to my plan, the, the, the change in leadership, the, the, the rebrand of the, of the wireless brand, we'll, we'll, really, we'll really see that probably in the third quarter because they just did the rebrand. But all the stuff they did for the Super Bowl, the Beyonce ad, right? And they couldn't even get 100,000 organic on the consumer side. So you got to look at the overall picture. Verizon has been working at this since the beginning of the year. And in the first quarter, they lost 158,000. In the second quarter, they lost 8,000. They still couldn't turn a positive on the consumer side. So that's something that, they, that they're also discussing during this Q&A. The, uh, the person asking the question asks, well, what about everything you're offering? Isn't that overwhelming for the consumer? How do you... Pretty much insinuating how, how do you market all of this effectively? You know, talking about the concert tickets and then the NFL Sunday ticket, Verizon access. And then she, she, she responds by saying that's what the rebrand is for, uh, a new feeling for the company. And us having to figure out every day how we effectively market this to the consumer where it doesn't become overwhelming. So that's another problem. Right. So the first problem is when they get into these meetings, how do we get consumer consumer growth back into the positive? Right. That starts with Sampath and that starts with Hans Vesberg. They're looking at, OK, volume and then they're also looking at financial growth. Right. You want to kind of strike a balance there. They're clearly not 50 50 on that part. They're, they're more like 80 20. Right. 20 percent volume, 80 percent price. So they want some volume, right? Some foot traffic, but they don't want to create huge amounts of foot traffic 
at the cost of dropping the finances, meaning like price increases, free lines, all that. They're not going to do that. So that's what they're clearly telling us and telling the market. So that starts with that. And now you're looking at, okay, I have new, a new, new chief marketing officer. How can we market maybe more effectively? How can we do the rebrand more effectively? A refresh, right? A new feeling for the brand. And we'll see in the third quarter, in the fourth quarter, but so far what they've done at the beginning of the year, which is invest heavily. If you guys remember the Super Bowl, that wasn't too long ago. I mean, they had Vegas in red. Verizon was everywhere. The ad, the Beyonce ad was was very popular. It ranked number one on a lot of uh, tech blogs and, and news outlets. And they still couldn't turn positive on the consumer side. So that tells you the service revenue growth was like 3.5%. The, the free cash flow growth, it's all coming from price increase. How much longer can they pull the pricing lever before the churn just spirals out of control? Not much longer. They won't be able to do it much longer because they are doing it consistently just so they can report to the market. We grew service revenue. Judge us on service revenue, earnings per share, free cash flow margins. Judge us on that. And Hans has said that publicly a few times. The only way that they can achieve this today is by pulling the pricing lever. And that's a problem because T-Mobile on the other end, they're telling us at their quarterly earnings, we're willing to compete on price. So when they get into these business discussions with the higher enterprise, like with the CIOs, Kali Fields said they're competitive on price. So that tells me being in the industry for a while, making videos for a long time, they are willing to come in at a lower price than any competitor. So she alluded to them getting the biggest oil company to join T-Mobile for Business on the wireless side plus 5G advanced network solutions. You bet they came in below Verizon or whoever was the previous uh, wireless carrier that ExxonMobil used. You can... You can you can put money on it that T-Mobile came in at a cheaper cost. Still accretive to T-Mobile because they never had any of those businesses before. So that's a problem for Verizon. That's another problem and another hurdle that they have to overcome. Before even fixing everything else that they have. T-Mobile is willing to compete on price. So if T-Mobile can somehow match coverage, even somewhat match coverage they don't have to be toe-to-toe -to -toe, right if if verizon maintains its 2.7 2.8 million square miles and t-mobile can get to 2.6 t-mobile wins all day long right that last uh 200 200 or so square miles t-mobile can cover that with with possible roaming maybe with some some spacex but if they can just get remotely close I mean, T-Mobile is going to win all day long with the, with the pricing competition. And if Verizon's not willing to budge, there's not much that's, that's going to happen with Verizon. Not much is going to move. That needle is not going to move if they're not willing to adjust to where the market is heading. They are running their own plays right now. The My Plan was, was theirs, right? They, they, they put all the perks in there. They, 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 they announced Verizon Access. They're bringing new marketing and none of it has worked until I see positive growth, consistent positive growth on the consumer side, which they should be able to easily do 100 to 150,000 alone on the consumer side. I'm not going to I'm not going to feel any different about Verizon until they're able to accomplish accomplish that. They have the leading network on the scientific platform called Root Metrics. They still, with the, with the roaming agreements where the, the third-party partners are using their assets, they still have arguably the largest network in the United States, you know, per some crowdsourced maps. So how can they not at least grow 100,000 customers a quarter? You know, what's the problem? I don't even ask three, four, five hundred thousand. If they can do on the consumer a consistent hundred and hundred and fifty, 
business has been doing 150,000 quarterly, that would be around 300,000 ads a quarter. And I think that's where Verizon would be. That would be a sweet spot for them. But they haven't been able to achieve it, not anywhere close. Because if you, if you get to that number, then you look at FWA, if they can, main, they can maintain 350 to 400,000 on FWA, they won't have to pull the pricing lever as much. They're going to grow finances by their organic growth. But until they can achieve that, I mean, they're going to keep raising price. They're going to keep doing it. And even, even as the market perhaps shifts towards something else and, and bundling and convergence and people are looking for discounts that way, Verizon, I have to say, will continue to lose in, in a market like that because they're not, they're not adjusting. They, they, they seek momentum, which they believe they have. We'll see how that plan, pans out in the third quarter. They have some aggressive promos, right? They're still doing the, the any phone, any condition. Now they're doing the NFL Sunday ticket on us, plus a $10 discount on YouTube TV if you have uh, Verizon's home internet. So again, their, their aggressiveness is peaking a bit, but in the, in the fourth quarter, they're going to go all out. So th this is more of a warm-up. I want to see it with the little bit that they have now, if they can grow on the consumer side in the third quarter. The fourth quarter, I'll tell you guys right now, is a foregone conclusion. They're going to grow the consumer in a positive way in the fourth quarter because they're going to they're gonna give, give the consumer everything they want. There's probably going to be TVs given away, Xbox, Nintendos, and, and, and everything else. So they're going to do it in the fourth quarter. But I want to see consistent growth in a Q1, Q2, and Q3 before I change my views on Verizon. So let me know your thoughts in the comments, how you feel about Verizon. Like, share, subscribe if you're new. Follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Live. See y'all in the next one. Peace.